morning. I hope that you're all well. I am so sorry that I didn't make a floss tube last weekend whilst I was at Hobby House, but um, there was just, there just wasn't a minute um, where we weren't doing something. It was, um, we, it was just filled, it's action packed and so exciting. But just because I didn't have time to do a floss tube didn't mean to say that you weren't all in my thoughts. And I hope that you enjoyed the photographs I posted whilst we were on our travels. If you have the opportunity to, to visit Hobby House, grab it with both hands. We had an absolute blast. Now, um, the floss tube today, I'm going to focus on a few things. Um, one, something that's happening next year that's special. I think it's very special. Um, I'm sure that many of you would like to mark your diaries. Um, two, I'd like to talk about Hobby House. And three, I would really like to talk to you about Florence Mary Dickinson. When I first saw the antique sampler, my heart did somersaults. Um, I just fell in love with this sampler and um, I know that you shouldn't have favourites and that your favourites can change but at the moment this is top of the list of the most beautiful sampler that Hands Across the Sea samplers has ever reproduced. It is absolutely stunning. Um, the colours, the motifs that the girl chose to stitch it's just beautiful and the border is just exceptional. It is, there's so much detail in the border. We just love this sampler so, so much. Um, Florence is a limited edition exclusive for Hobby House Needleworks. Um, now, a few people have messaged me saying, that they live outside the US and it's difficult to buy booklets that are only sold in the US. But just as we did with Rose Ada Featherstone last year with Hobby House, we will be shipping from the UK using Royal Mail postal rates to needle workers who buy the booklet but live outside the US. If you want to secure this booklet, all you need to do is go to the Hobby House website and check your booklet out. Most countries will calculate the shipping rates um, automatically, but there could be um, some countries that it hasn't been set up for. And when you go to check out, if you find that your country is one of those countries, all you have to do is email Kathy and she will make um, an arrangement for you to pay using the UK shipping rate to your country and then I will ship the booklet to you. We really want this uh, sampler to be available to as many people as possible. Now, um, Kathy has um, kits available as well. Now, those will have to come from the US because I don't hold them here. But the sampler is available with DMC, with Soir d'Arger and Soir 103. Um, the sampler was stitched on the beautiful creme brulee from Tabby Cat Linen. And Kathy has that available in a whole range of counts. The sampler is suitable for cross-stitching on Ada or linen. The only stitches used are cross-stitch over two, and then on Florence's name, the F, the M, the D, and the A is in Algerian eyelet using eight legs, which is stitchable on Ada. So this is a sampler for everybody. And Everybody is welcome to join in the stitch along that's being led by the wonderful Krista Gramer of Just Stitching Along, who is the group leader for our sampler years on Facebook. On January the 1st, this will uh, stitch along will start and Krista, um, you know, she's a wonderful stitch along leader. She will put so much into this sampler every month. Last year with Rose Ada Featherstone, they had monthly um, live stitch-ins so that people could stitch together. 
Um, Krista has divided up the sampler into uh, sections for uh, you know, monthly goals, but at the same time, you don't have to stick to those goals. You can sit down and stitch the sampler in one go. You can stitch it in a different order and in different amounts. Um, the important thing is that we are all stitching Florence. And for those people who finish Florence by the end of 2023, there will be a prize draw to enter into. First prize is this beautiful antique sampler. It really is very, very pretty, an exquisite double border. Those little flowers are gorgeous. Um, so this is the main prize for the draw for Rose, not Rose, for um, Florence Mary Dickinson. And it could be you that wins this sampler. We've just had a draw for the Eliza Martha Linford sampler and one needle worker, uh, one um, Harriet Godhard. And just before I left to go to the States, I sent Harriet to her and she's been received and she is absolutely delightful. If you don't have a go, you don't have a chance of winning. There are two more prizes, which are vouchers to spend on the Hands Across the Sea Samplers webpage. Um, let's talk about Florence a little. Um, her stitch count is 253 stitches by 297. Um, on 28 count linen, 14 count Ada, she will measure 18.07 inches by 21.21 inches. On 36 count linen, which is 18 count Ada, it would measure 14.06 by 16.5. And on 40 count linen, 20 count Ada, she will measure 12.65 by 14.85. A really lovely size of um, sampler. The um, palette is 16 glorious colours. The colours really are very, very beautiful. Um, and um, the model was stitched with Soir 103, which is the favoured silk for the model stitcher, the contented stitcher. But in the booklet, there are conversions for Soir d'Alger and DMC. Um, the booklet is beautiful. Um, we had such fun putting it together. And what we have done in the booklet uh, to make it a little bit easier to follow, we've given you an overlap of four squares rather than the standard two. We thought that might make it a little bit easier going from page to page. Um, beautiful booklet. There's a foreword by Kathy, and then um, we talk about the sampler. And you have this lovely um, pullout, which is a label that can go into the back of the sampler uh, when the sampler is finished and also you have a thread legend that you can work with as well. It's a really lovely booklet and you know as I said we had such fun putting this together and reproducing the sampler. Now with regards to the limited edition I believe that over half of the samplers are already gone and this is strictly limited just as Rose Ada was when the um, number of charts have sold they've gone, it will not be reproduced. Now, um, for um, the first, I'm not sure how many um, samplers, that's something you'd have to check with Kathy. Kathy had these beautiful um, scissorfobs, specially commissioned from Minnie McBean's needlework fripperies. And um, if you buy the full kit, you will get this fob, but it was only for a limited number. And I don't know if that number has been exceeded. That's something you will have to check with Hobby House, but these are really, really beautiful. Um, I do hope that you will join us. I have to stitch this sampler as well. I want this sampler on my uh, sampler wall. So I'm going to be stitching along following Krista each month. So, so beautiful. Do you know what? I'm, I feel so blessed that I get to work with such amazing things as these girls' samplers. They're just so, so special. Now, 
We also have another limited edition which was released before I went um, to the States, Margaret Doyle. And Margaret Doyle is another lovely sampler. Now, um, this was a special for Kitten Stitcher, Shakespeare Peddler, Teresa Vanetti. We all know Teresa by different names. Um, I believe that Teresa has some kits left for the Soir d'Alger of Margaret and um, Teresa will be leading a stitch along uh, on her website and blog for that one. Um, okay, right, Hobby House Needleworks. Oh my God, what an amazing store. You pull up and it's in this beautiful area just on the banks of the Erie Canal and the whole of Pittsford is very sort of picturesque. Um, you pull up and it's this beautiful green sort of log cabin building. It reminded me very much of the ski chalets that you find in France and Switzerland. You open the door and you are looking at a beautiful stone uh, um, fireplace and chimney breast and then you look up and everything inside is this beautiful wooden ceiling, wooden rafters, wooden walls. It really is like a ski chalet walking into it and it is stuffed to the rafters with exquisite needlework products like you know you have your charts and um, your silks and your cottons and all the sort of general things that go with this passion of ours but Kathy seems to have this wonderful knack of finding really exquisite items um, the glass display case was full of really unusual knickknacks for needleworkers and everything was just so exquisite and um, the shaker boxes that she carried oh my god they were just so so beautiful amazing um, she also carried this fabulous range of um, leather cases for needleworkers and beautiful wooden boxes that were made um, in the Ukraine and I did show those in my uh, walk around video at Hobby House. Um, I just can't describe everything that was there, you really need to go and look for yourself. I have never ever seen so much linen in one place. Hobby House Needleworks brought in 1,600 yards of linen in all different counts from various different dye houses. Um, it was just so lovely to have a choice of over dyer and colours and counts. It was amazing. I have never ever seen so much linen in one place. And even though you might not have been there this last weekend, Kathy and David have a lot of linen available for their online customers as well. It was very, very important to them that after the workshop, that people that couldn't attend could experience the shopping experience that you have at Hobby House. So if you're after linen, have a look at what Hobby House have got. Now, at the weekend, um, there was a brand new linen released. Um, several months ago, well, I think it was March, I approached Michelle of Tabby Cat Linen and I asked her to design um, a particular linen for me. And I wanted this linen to have whispers of the glens in Scotland. And Michelle really came up trumps and for a little while now you've been seeing me stitching on models where I haven't been given the name of the linen. Well I can tell you this new linen that's available now to purchase from uh, Tabby Cat Linen and Hobby House. Hobby House were the first store that had it in. It was exclusive to them for last weekend and they have got a good supply. But this linen will be available from the other stockets of Tabby Cat Linen. The linen is Lallybrock and I stitched this um, pin cushion, this mattress pin cushion on Lallybrock. It's a really beautiful 
beautiful um, linen. There's whispers of green and lavender and that sort of beautiful greys, bluey greys that you get from the granite in Scotland. Here it is on Dorchy Sampson's sampler and again on here. So this linen called Lallybrock is now readily available um, and I was so pleased when Michelle interpreted um, the brief I gave her for the linen that I wanted. Just Lallybrock is the most gorgeous linen. It's, um, it's colours that we see so much in antique samplers. Um, really, really pleased with that. Okay. Um, Hobby has needleworks. So we had the store, which was just amazing in itself. Um, Kathy and David are delightful and their staff are delightful. Um, it was just such a lovely uh, feeling and ambiance in the store. They were so welcoming and so hospitable. The workshop, which was for uh, Margaret Anderson, alas, that is gone, was held at the Woodcliffe Hotel, which was a really lovely hotel. It was very spacious, really nice facilities. And the room that the workshop was held in was sort of really like a great big conference ballroom. We had lots and lots of space and we had big screens for uh, my tutorial videos to be played on and the acoustics were very good and the um, the uh, voice and the microphone system, the audio system was very good in the room as well. The food that Kathy and David put on was absolutely amazing. It was just like sitting down at a wedding. Um, we had beautiful steak and salmon fillets and oh, the, the food was just fabulous. And it was my sort of food, lovely fresh vegetables cooked very well um, and really lovely healthy um, food cooked from scratch and beautifully presented. So the food was absolutely wonderful. Um, we. We just had so much fun. Everybody was enjoying themselves and um, it was a great big sisterhood. Um, the um, goodie bag. I'm sorry about that, but Ray called me. There was a very important phone call came th through that I had to take. And um, where was I? We were talking about Hobby House. The goodie bag that Hobby House handed out was amazing. It was a shaker workbox. Isn't that gorgeous? And this was um, the container that contained the, um, the kit, the linen and the silks for stitching the workshop project. Just amazing. Um, there's a little tray inside and plenty of room to store uh, your needlework tools. It was just delightful. Shaker boxes are so special and this was a very generous gift from Kathy and David for workshop attendees. Um, amazing. Now, next year, the first weekend of November, I will be back at Hobby House at teaching another project. Um, we're not ready to open registration yet, but um, this is a date for you to mark in your diary. It's going to be another amazing workshop. Um, it's based on a, or my part of the teaching for that weekend is based on a Scottish sampler um, that has some different stitches in. And it's those stitches that we're going to focus on learning how to do at the workshop. And um, Kathy and David, they have and another amazing gift for the attendees. Um, this is something that's being made specifically for that workshop. Um, it'll never be made again. This product or item, needlework item, the design of it will be exclusive to the attendees of that weekend. I placed the order yesterday. It's being made in the UK and it's really, really lovely. I want one. <laughs> um, anyway, mark the first weekend of November in your diary for 2023 and come along to Hobby House and learn um, some new stitches 
um, the stitches in this particular sampler were ones that I had not come across before, um, but they were great fun to learn and I'm going to share that knowledge with you for next year. Um, what else have I got to talk about? Um, oh, a little stitching project. I am very, very nearly finished. I'm just starting the um, second pass around this border and I've got from I think about where did I start I got from there to there so I've literally just got to stitch around here and then that is finished really really enjoyed working this little sampler and it was an ideal um, travel project um, I hope um, shortly to do a um, video of the items that I uh, bought at Hobby House. Um, one suitcase, and I'm not exaggerating here, one suitcase was full of items for the Great British Sampler Weekend. Hobby House Needleworks are the official sponsor of that weekend and these were some beautiful products that we were taking uh, back for the goodie bag that all the attendees will receive. Linda and I, we took a spare suitcase for that, but we did have to go and buy another suitcase. Um, it was just all that linen. I have never seen so much linen in one place ever before. Just, just amazing. <laughs> um, okay, going back to Florence, come and join us. This sampler is amazing. Um, it's very, very stitchable. Even if you have never stitched before, I promise you this sampler is doable if you are determined to learn. It is just cross stitch over two and one, two, three, four Algerian eyelet um, letters. And um, she's beautiful. Um, I can't wait. In fact, I might be tempted to start before January 1st, which is very, very naughty of me. Miss Jean Lee from the attic was at the weekend and she too could not resist starting um, Florence. In fact, a lot of people um, did start Florence on the weekend. It's those colours, just so, so beautiful. Really, really is. Look at, look at these beautiful, um, urns of flowers and then this bouquet. Those stags are so proud and regal. And that border, just look at that beautiful border. The colours and the uh, detail in that border are so, so beautiful. We are so blessed to have such beautiful samplers to reproduce and, and to stitch and to hang on our walls as well. Anyway, I've got to go. I have got so much work stacked up, but hey ho, um, I wouldn't be doing it if I wasn't enjoying it. Thank you for listening to me and until next time, bye bye.